What a wonderful world we live in. But sometimes this planet can be unforgiving when we least expect it. Let's count down the most dangerous, devastating, natural phenomena in our world. Number 10. Tornadoes. The Twister makes for one of the most awe-inspiring sights on Earth. So perhaps unsurprisingly, it also makes for one of the most deadly. Tornadoes are essentially a rapidly rotating mix of humid and cold air. They are usually attached to a powerful thunderstorm, and they extend its reach to the very ground we walk on. What causes the tornado to rank so low on our list despite its fearsome appearance, though, is the fact that these sinister spinners only travel for around six miles and last from just a few seconds to a few hours. That doesn't mean they aren't capable of massive destruction, though. There are around 1,000 tornadoes in the United States every year. They are responsible for the deaths of an average of 80 people annually. The worst ever tornado? That took place in Bangladesh back in 1989, and it cruelly claimed the lives of over 1,300 people. Number 9. Extreme Heat We aren't talking about the perfect weather for a summer beach vacation. And while the conditions to quality for extreme heat do depend on location, the term is reserved for when the temperature reaches a dangerous level. Extreme heat waves can last for around three days and cause fatal heat-related illnesses. Expose yourself to the elements during this time, and you could find yourself battling severe cramps, fainting spells, exhaustion, and even heat stroke. A heat wave in Russia in 2010 was responsible for the deaths of over 56,000 people and reached temperatures of over 111 Fahrenheit. Whenever it gets too hot, do your best to stay cool, but not too cool, of course. Number 8. Extreme Cold On the other side of the thermometer, we have the heat wave's even more evil twin brother. Much like extreme heat, the temperatures to qualify for extreme cold do vary depending on where on the map we're looking. It's quite simple. We need warmth to survive. And when you consider that a healthy adult can develop frostbite in as little as 10 minutes when having their skin uncovered in a seriously sub-zero climate, the cold is no joke. The worst cold wave in North American history occurred during the winter of 1936. Nebraska, North and South Dakota were all forced to endure temperatures of minus 60 Fahrenheit. Now that's more than a little chilly. Number 7. Volcanic Eruptions In 1815, Indonesia's Mount Tambora erupted and laid waste to its surrounding areas. 11,000 people were killed directly by the eruption, and up to 90,000 more were killed by the resulting famine and disease. Volcanic eruptions are capable of changing the weather on a global scale, and they can even leave the sky darkened for years after the fact. This gets even more concerning when you realize that volcanic activity is a constantly occurring thing all over our world. Not to worry, though, because there are always more dangerous disasters just waiting to happen. Number 6. Landslides. They go by many names. Avalanches, mudslides, debris flows, and rock slides. This phenomenon is truly an unstoppable force when it gets going. Landslides are capable of wiping miles of civilization off the map, and they can kill over 100,000 people in one sweep. Landslides are caused by wildfires, erosion, or even other natural disasters like earthquakes. The deadliest landslide ever recorded happened back in 1920 in Haiwan Flows, Ningxia, China. It ended the lives of over 100,000 people and completely destroyed over 7,000 square miles of land. While it might be easy to avoid any volcanoes when picking your next vacation spot, landslides are a little trickier. They can occur in any mountainous or sloped region. Number 5. Tsunamis On the 26th of December 2004, a tsunami made for one of the most violent, destructive, and unforgiving natural disasters in recorded history. An earthquake off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia birthed 100-foot-high waves that annihilated almost anything in their paths. Coastal regions in the Indian Ocean suffered tremendous losses. Over 220,000 people across 14 different countries were killed. The world-shattering waves were the product of one of the most powerful earthquakes ever recorded, but more on those later. Number 4. Hurricanes, typhoons, and tropical cyclones, three different names, but each is just as capable as the other of significant destruction. 
These severe storms are named due to location, with hurricanes taking place in the North Atlantic and Northeast Pacific Oceans, typhoons in the Northwest Pacific, and tropical cyclones calling the South Pacific and the Indian Ocean home. The storms usually contain heavy winds, sometimes reaching up to 30 miles per hour, and come complete with buckets of unrelenting rainfall. The Great Galveston Storm of 1900 holds the fatality record in North America, with over 8,000 people tragically losing their lives. This storm in Texas is actually considered by some to be the worst natural disaster in the history of the United States. When it comes to the world, though, the 1970 Bola cyclone that attacked East Pakistan, now known as Bangladesh, resulted in a far more catastrophic loss of life. An estimated 500,000 people were killed. Number three, earthquakes. Things are about to get seriously seismic. Earthquakes are caused by friction between massive solid slabs of rock, known as tectonic plates. When these plates collide, the immense energy created then ripples to the surface, violently shaking and sometimes totally destroying the ground. Earthquakes are measured via the Richter scale, which goes from one to 10, with one being the least destructive earthquake and 10 being, well, enough to leave cities in ruin. In 2010, Port-au-Prince in Haiti suffered a magnitude 7 earthquake, one of the strongest in history. This caused over 300,000 deaths and left millions of people without their homes. The Haiti earthquake is one of the most tragic natural disasters of recent times. But if we turn back our clocks more than a few hundred years, we find the most catastrophic earthquake we've ever recorded. Shanxi, China, 1556. An earthquake with a magnitude of eight struck and killed over 800,000 people. The most powerful earthquake ever recorded took place in Chile in 1960. An estimated 6,000 people lost their lives in that one, and the resulting tsunamis reached as far as Hawaii, Japan, the Philippines, New Zealand, and Australia. Number two, floods. We're now heading into deep water. Floods and the devastation they are capable of are next level when compared to every disaster we've experienced so far. To put this into perspective, the deadliest flood in human history happened in China in 1931 and resulted in the deaths of four million people. What makes floods so dangerous is just how unpredictable they really are. Most fatalities caused by flooding are when the flood itself occurs without warning and with frightening speed. Floods can be the result of heavy rainfall, a dam collapse, a tsunami, a hurricane or cyclone, or even melting snow. They can wash away vehicles, homes, and entire communities, and they can destroy crops, making recovery from the disaster all the more difficult. While unwanted water has caused incredible suffering throughout our planet, there exists one phenomenon that's even more unforgiving when it comes to claiming human lives. Number one, famine caused by drought. It may not be as fantastic as an exploding volcano or as shocking as a 100-foot-tall wall of water, but drought and famine together have caused more deaths to humans than any other natural disaster. A drought is defined as a period of drier than normal conditions, no rain, and the result is a scarcity of water and harm to crops. That already sounds horrible, but it gets worse. A drought can last for years at a time. Famine is often the direct result. This is when a population experiences an extreme shortage of food. Famine can occur without drought, due to things like insect infestation, human error, or flooding. But when starvation and malnutrition devastate a once thriving community, drought is often the guilty party. The Northern Chinese famine that began in 1876 was caused by drought. It lasted until 1879, and in that span took the lives of 13 million people. People who died simply because they had no access to food and clean water. Tragically, famine still affects much of our planet. It is a heartbreaking problem that many families face every single day. When it comes to natural disasters, famine caused by drought is not just the slowest killer, it is the most effective killer of all. Which natural disaster gives us the biggest cause for concern? Well, it of course depends on where you live. With all these phenomena in mind though, there really is no denying just how fearsome Mother Nature can be.